<laughs> Send help. Last winter, I developed a recipe for Food 52 for a lemon cream pie. I thought because we're kind of leaving stone fruit season and going into citrus season, this is the perfect time to show you how to make it. So let's get started. First things first, we have to make the crust. I'm using Biscoff cookies for the crust. If you haven't had Biscoff cookies, they're kind of like this deeply caramel spiced cookie. You can get them on airplanes. One of my friends was like teasing me for how much I love them, but they're just I'm like, these are the best cookies. They're superior. And I just really liked how they kind of contrasted with the lemon flavor. Just add the Biscoff cookies to a food processor. You're just gonna pulse the cookies until they're finely ground. So if you don't have a food processor at home, you can still do this by putting them in a Ziploc bag and kind of like beating the hell out of it with a, with a mallet, with a, what are they called, rolling pin. Something, something hard and heavy. But if you have a food processor, save some time. Okay, so dump the ground cookies into a bowl. Oops. And then I've got some sugar. Just dump that right in. And some salt. And then just give that a good mix. I like to add some sugar and salt to the Biscoff cookies just to get this really nice kind of like sweet, savory thing going on that contrasts really well to the lemon. So once you've got it all mixed up, you're gonna add the melted butter straight to the cookies. And again, give that a good stir. You want it to look like the consistency of wet sand. So this is the consistency you want. See, it's like kind of sticking together, buttery, but not sticking in clumps. So once you've got the texture right, you've got to get a pie plate, pie tin, tart pan, whatever you have. I have this kind of like some, somewhere in between and you can just start putting the crust in. Maybe a third of the mixture in to start, just to get this like even layer. And you're looking to do about a fourth inch crust on the bottom. You don't have to be too precious about it. It's okay if it's a little thicker. The crust is so good that like no one's gonna be upset. But you definitely want enough of a crust that you know the filling doesn't seep through. So once the bottom crust is done like this, I like to go back to the bowl and just kind of like shove a bit to the side. Do you hear the rooster? And we can see how the side goes first. If you don't have Biscoff cookies, you can still totally make this pie. You could use graham crackers, shortbread, whatever cookie you like. A ginger snap would be really good, even like vanilla wafers. So once you get to the end like this, just make sure that that center is flat and you can also just go along the top of the sides just to make sure it's, it's like an even layer. Okay, so crust is done and I'm just gonna par bake it in an oven at 350 degrees until just set, should take about eight minutes. This is just to kind of like get the crust to stick together. It will be baked again, so you don't wanna go like overboard at this stage. Goodbye. Okay, the crust looks absolutely amazing and smells, oops, even better. I'm gonna let this cool to room temperature for 30, 45 minutes. If you're making this in advance, you can also just bake the crust off like two days in advance and let it hang out until you're ready to do the whole process. Okay, moving on to the filling. For the filling, we need three egg yolks. So I'm gonna show you one of my go-to tricks to get egg yolks really easily so you don't have to do the like, you know, back and forth thing all the time. Oops. 
So make sure you have clean hands and then you're just gonna put them directly into the bowl and kind of scoop up the yolk, go back and forth until the white falls through your fingers and you just have the yolk left, just like this. Just back and forth and it takes like a second. So look, perfect yolk into the bowl. Make sure you wash your hands before moving forward. So to the bowl with the egg yolks, you're going to add in the zest of two lemons. Okay, perfect. And then you can either do this with a hand mixer or a whisk. I'm using a whisk just for the sake of this video and just whisk to combine. Okay, now you're gonna add vanilla extract, salt, and sweetened condensed milk. Just add it right to the bowl. Somebody else thinks it looks good. Ruby, Ruby, are you trying to get the sweetened condensed milk? Do you think that would be a yummy treat? If you have any left over in the can, just grab a spatula and kind of scoop it out. And again, just whisk to combine. If you were doing this with a hand mixer, this would go very fast. And just put some muscle in it if you're using a whisk. Ooh, okay, beautiful. Once this is done, I'm gonna move on to my lemon juice. If you were smart about this, you would get your lemon juice ready before you start cooking, but here we are. So I need about a cup of lemon juice. Should be like four to five lemons, depending on the size, size of them. Oops. These are pretty big, so I'm gonna see how far four gets me. Oh, and here's a fun note. This is lemon cream pie, but you could totally do this with lime, grapefruit, orange, like any type of citrus juice. And you can just swap it one to one. I have about a cup of lemon juice here, and if you have a hand mixer, you want the mixer to be going. If you have a whisk like me, you wanna be using your hands. And just slowly pour the lemon juice in as you're whisking. You want it to be combined slowly. The lemon juice is really acidic, so you don't want it, like if you look at the mixture now, it looks kind of like curdly, and you really want it to be nice and smooth. That's why you're adding the lemon juice slowly. So the consistency you're looking for is when you pull up the whisk, it should have these like little kind of dribbles off it. You don't need it to be ribbons. It should be like really smooth and liquidy. Like that. You're gonna go over to your chilled room temperature pie crust. Just pour it right in. You wanna go up just to the very edge of the crust. Don't go over the crust. Obviously, it's gonna overflow if you do that. So if there's any lumps after you pour the filling in, you can just really gently shake it and that'll even everything out. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. That's kind of like the joy of this pie. It's done literally in under an hour. The timer just went off and the lemon cream pie is done. It's gonna have a slight jiggle in the center and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see, do you see that little jiggle? Here. Whoa, do you see that? <laughs> I just stuck my thumb in the side. Look at that. Hmm. Mm. Wow. I need to let this chill to room temperature and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge at least four hours. It can go overnight, even up to two days, but you really wanna let it set so that you can get those like beautiful clean slices out of it. So we'll see you in, uh, see you in a few hours. The lemon cream pie is just about ready, so it's time to make the last component of this dish, which is whipped cream. And because, you know, I just, I just think it's better when you do it by hand, so put a whisk in a freezer and uh, I'm off to the races. 
This already feels like a bad plan. <laughs> Send help. You wanna give your uh, hand a you wanna try it out? So at this point, oh yeah, look at those. It's about ready to come together. I'm gonna add the powdered sugar. And I like using powdered sugar rather than granulated for whipped cream, just because it kind of dissolves better and you have a better um, consistency. I'm also going to add the zest of one lemon. It's just gonna really bring that like lemon cream pie flavor all the way home. Perfect. And then get whipping. Whipped cream, I think it's ready. Okay, your beautiful chilled lemon cream pie. So just take the whipped cream and you're just gonna plop it down right on top. And you can kind of smooth this however you want to. I like to kind of push it out to the sides and just think of it like a pillowy cloud right on top. I like to leave like a half inch border of the lemon cream pie just around so you can see that like beautiful golden yellow. And it looks really pretty with the whipped cream too. I think we should cut into it and uh, see what it looks like. I feel like the first piece of pie is always the trickiest to get out. Might crumble a bit, but I hope not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> ooh, pretty good for a first slice. I'm pretty impressed with myself for this first slice. Let's see. Oh, look at the yellow whipped cream contrast. I mean, Stein. Mmm, it's perfect. It's honestly, I'm like, is this the perfect dessert? Yes. If you make this, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see your photos. This is truly one of my favorite desserts of all time. You can find the recipe below or on Food 52. One hot take.